Hi, John from Back of the Dragon here with you. You know, for some, it's Mopar or no car. If you're looking for the best selection of the highest quality vehicles you'll find anywhere, we've got what you want. At Rainey Chrysler Jeep Dodge Daswell, the 2011 Dodge Charger not only looks great, it's been named best in class for its V6 engine that delivers quality performance. It comes backed by a five-year, 100,000-mile warranty, and it's an IIHS top safety pick. For over 50 years, the customer has always been number one. So come see us today at Rainey Chrysler Jeep Dodge Daswell or visit RaineyCars.com. At Rainey, we do the deal. Flashback to 1970. The pony car wars were in full storm with the launch of the Mustang, then the Camaro. How was Dodge going to answer? Plymouth had the Barracuda. But in 1970, the E-Body uh, came into its own, really, and was born out of that, the Dodge Challenger. Uh, raced on the road, raced on the street sometime. The Dodge Challenger was a real street hero. That lasted until about 1974. At that point, things were changing in the country, fuel economy, and the Challenger died. In 2008, the Dodge Challenger came back. And more so than the, the other companies, this car is very true to the original nature uh, and intent of the Dodge Challenger, albeit with a few more pounds, a little more space. But the performance is still there. Uh, this car, at almost 4,300 pounds, is a little large. And, uh, but it has excellent brakes to back it up, an unbelievable 5.7 liter Hemi, uh, packing 375 horsepower and a ton of torque. This is the middle model. This is the Challenger RT. Uh, there is a lower level uh, SE model with a V6, the, the, the new Pentastar V6, very powerful. And then of course, there's the big dog. There's the SRT8, which new for 2011 was the 392 Hemi, packing 470 horsepower. The car we're going to talk about today, the Challenger RT, uh, not only has a good performance, it is a real boulevard cruiser, and we're going to find out how it does in the twisties here at the back of the Dragon. Joining us today is uh, Cody Davidson, no initial relationship that we know of, uh, from Ramey Auto Group. Uh, Cody, thanks so much for bringing the car down. Uh, tell us a little bit about what you do for the organization. I'm actually a sales associate for uh, Ramey Automotive Group in the Tri-State area, servicing our local customers as well as any within our Tri-State area. Fantastic. Or anybody who comes to enjoy the back of the Dragon and wants to come and take one of these uh, fine beasts out. Of course, of course. Outstanding. So, uh, who buys this car? Tell, what, what's, what's the demographic? You'd be surprised, actually. It's pretty open. Um, you can have somebody typical as young as my age wanting to buy this car, or you can have the old school Mopar guys that really want to relive that dream. Well, it is, it is a real, true representation of what these cars were 40 years ago, albeit maybe just a little bit bigger when you, when you set them side by side. But it is a great representation, a very accurate representation, all the way down to the pistol grip shifter, and, and you know you get the feel of the dash and how things are laid out, and everything is candid and slanted towards the driver. So exactly. very cool in that way. Also, plenty of trunk space. Exactly. Um, you can take this trip on a long weekend trip, or it's you know it's a perfect go around town car. Can't Absolutely. Not beat it. As a Boulevard cruiser, you know I've seen these cars now for close to four years on the road, uh, and even went to uh, Washington D.C. when this car was a prototype, the orange mm -hmm. prototype that yeah. they they traveled around the United States, and uh, fell in love with the car then. And every time I see one, regardless of what guys it's in, regardless of the model, you always look at it. Oh you, yeah. You can't help. So it's got classic styling. You cannot beat it. You, you really can't, and it is a very true representation. Of, of what the car was, uh, at least visually, stylistically, 40 years ago, although it does a couple things a little bit better than those cars did. Just a hair. Just a little <laughs> bit. Awesome. Thank you so much again, and everyone down at Ramey, uh, for being a partner with Back of the Dragon. We really appreciate it. Not a problem. Thank you. So we've talked about the car and, and what we think it's going to do on the Back of the Dragon. We've got the beautiful stretch of road here to our left. Now we just need a driver. We definitely have that covered today. Uh, joining us now is the Mayor of Marion, Mayor David Helms. Mayor Helms, thank you so much for being here with us today. Well, I appreciate the opportunity. This is a great opportunity for our town, for our county, you know, for Southwest Virginia. Uh, we think this is uh, tourism is a great opportunity for us. We're putting money into it. Uh, it brings people to town. We had a, a great uh, day here in the fall with Back of the Dragon, had a lot of people out to the high school stadium to visit with us, and it was just a great day, a lot of positive comments about it. And we're just looking forward to these continued efforts of our citizens and uh, 
the Back of the Dragon group. Uh, we've had several uh, real constructive and progressive meetings, I think, you know, talking about our uh, programs for next year. Looking forward to that. And uh, Marion uh, is making some step forward. You know, we, we have the uh, theater downtown, uh, the Lincoln Theater, uh, Mayan Theater, that uh, probably the biggest production we have is Song of the Mountain, a bluegrass wow. program that we have the first Saturday of each month that's uh, syndicated on about 160 PBS stations throughout the world. So that wow. brings a lot of people to town, and, and that's what we're trying to do now. We're just trying to promote our downtown. We have uh, several restaurants that are open, uh, including Black Rooster. That's one of the better ones, I guess, most famous ones downtown. Right. And, uh, we're just trying to promote our town and promote the area. Well, and this you... Hunger Mother Park is great. I just been talking to some people here this morning, and they're just so excited about being here. They picked a beautiful time to come. Man. fall foliage and everything well we thank you and, and what you put into something is truly what you get out of it and and you guys have put a lot into this and partnering with us and 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 opening the door uh, wide open and uh, we really really appreciate it and obviously to bring you out on a beautiful saturday after uh, saturday morning with the uh, fall foliage and this unbelievable car <laughs> it was real hard for you to come out wasn't it oh it was a real struggle, <laughs> real struggle. I know it was awesome a real real problem and we'll do everything we can uh, because i know cody's really going to try to get you in this car at the end of the day so we'll do everything we can to keep mrs mayor happy okay, okay. All, right. all right that sounds great that sounds great <laughs> awesome we'll see you on the road <laughs> Mr. Mayor, what did you think of that? Oh, that was a great ride. I'll tell you, it's a nice car. It's it nice is. Car. Now, you've been on the back of the Dragon, obviously, all your life. Uh, quite a few times. Quite a few times. Quite a few times. Uh, probably not in anything like that, though. No, no. Pickup truck, not, uh, <laughs> not anything like this. Sure have. Livable car? Yes, sir. Very, Very nice. livable, Very isn't nice. it? It's, a, it's an everyday car that you can bring out and enjoy. The car that you can go to the grocery store, fill up the trunk, put the kids in it, and then when it's time to go out and enjoy yourself on a weekend day, here it is. Works out great. Absolutely, Cody. Thanks again to you and all the folks at Ramey Auto Group. We really appreciate you bringing the car out. Absolutely beautiful. Go to RameyCars.com. Uh, also, check us out at BackOfTheDragon.com. Thanks so much. That's it from the uh, Back of the Dragon and Hungry Mother State Park. We'll see you soon.